Hey, what's going on guys? Super Swimmer here and welcome back to another Hunger Games Simulator. Now today, we are going to be going through a Walking Dead Hunger Games, pretty much the characters from Walking Dead. I've never personally seen the Hunger Games, don't, don't get mad at me, but I've just never really sat down and watched this. Um, I know a few of these uh, characters like Carl, Rick, of course, like the main ones, I guess, not all of them. Because, like I said before, I haven't watched this show. Uh, this was suggested to me like a few months ago, but I haven't really gotten to it, mainly because of school and all that. Uh, whatever, I'm, I'm tired of giving excuses. I just didn't get to it. I'll just say that. So, uh, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get into this. So, we got the bloodbath, as tribute sound on the podiums, the horn sounds, Michonne, and I had to, uh, like, get it read out to me, I guess. Uh... It's actually for me to pronounce that, I guess. I don't know if I'm pr still pronouncing it correctly, but Michonne runs away with a lighter and some rope. Rick grabs a backpack, not realizing it's empty. Well, that kind of sucks. Uh, Andrea and Bob fight Amy and Dale. Andrea and Bob survive. Uh, Rosita grabs a shield, leaning on the cornucopia. Gareth runs away. Herschel retrieves a trident from inside the cornucopia. Uh, Mural... I, I honestly don't know how to pronounce that. Breaks Carl's nose for a basket of bread. Uh, Maggie runs away from the cornucopia. So Sophia strangles Beth after engaging in a fist fight. Eugene breaks the governor's nose for a basket of bread. Uh, Tara or Tara uh, scares Glenn away from the cornucopia. A Abraham runs away from the cornucopia. Uh, Daryl gathers as much food as he can. Carl breaks Lori's nose for a basket of bread. There's three of those now. <laughs> um... Sasha runs into the cornucopia and hides. That's not a bad idea. There, like there was, I think one of one of in the first movie, there was someone that tried that. Yet, like it was one of the youngest ones in there too. Like I want to say like 13. I think he was. I don't know, but he, his no his uh, neck got slashed open pretty much. Uh, Shane runs away, and that's pretty much the end of that one. <laughs> uh. The governor travels to higher ground. Sophia begs for Bob to kill her. He refuses, keeping Sophia alive. Andrea dies from an infection. Can you die from an infection within a day? I don't... I honestly have no idea. I might... I might have to look that up after this. I don't know. I'm not sure how... How quick... Uh... Like... Death from infection actually... Occurs. So that's... Kind of... I guess. I don't know. Uh... Maggie discovers a cave... Sasha scares Carol off. Meryl. Again, I'm, I apologize if I am uh, mispronouncing these names. Uh, Eugene, Carl, Tara, and Herschel hunt for other tributes. Uh, Shane receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Glenn begs for Mich Michonne to kill him. She refuses, keeping Glenn alive. Rosita goes hunting. Lori falls into a pit and dies. <laughs> That's just like... And there's another one down here, too. Uh, Abraham constructs a shack. Gareth falls into a pit and dies. Rick makes a slingshot, and Daryl practices his archery. Alright, ooh, oh, wow, already a, um, an arena event? Okay, that's gonna be interesting. Uh, Monstrous Hurricane wreaks havoc on the arena. Rosita survives, Glenn survives. Abraham pushes Rick into an on incoming boulder. Uh, Tara stabs Bob, then pushes him close enough to the hurricane to suck him in. Shane survives. Sophia stabs Herschel, then pushes him close enough to the hurricane to suck him in. The governor is incapacitated by flying debris and dies. Sasha pushes Carl into an incoming boulder. I, I, are you sure it's oncoming boulder or incoming boulder? And in, with that, I don't know. I'm, I am not a grammar Nazi or an English teacher, so I have no idea how that's supposed to actually pronounce. It just sounds weird saying it out loud. Uh, Maggie survives. Daryl stabs Eugene, then pushes him close enough to the hurricane to suck him in. Uh, Mural survives. Uh, Michonne pushes Carol into an incoming boulder. Yeah, see, like, pushes Carol into an oncoming boulder? Like, doesn't that sound, like, more correct? I don't know. It's probably, like, 100% correct as it is, so I don't know. And, wow, that's actually, like, more than half of the competition done in uh pretty much uh one day <laughs> i didn't change anything i didn't up the up the what is it the death rate it's on average or i think it's like 
one above that, but not like the most extreme. I'm not sure why people are dying this fast. I guess, I mean, this is random, so I guess that, I guess, kind of explains it. So, we have Amy, Dale, Beth, Andrea, Lori, Gareth, Rick, Bob, Herschel, the Governor, Carl, Eugene, and Carol, all dead. Wow, that is a lot of people, okay. <laughs> uh, Sophia looks at the night sky, or this is night one. Uh, Sophia looks at the night sky, Sasha tends to her wounds. Mural, Maggie, Rosita, and Abraham sleep in shifts. Uh, Glenn cooks his food before putting his fire out. Uh, Tara strangles Shane with a rope. Yikes. Uh, Mich Michonne cooks her f food before putting her fire out. Uh, Daryl receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Okay. Uh, so day two, Rosita receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Uh, Sasha, Tara, Michonne, Sophia. Sophia, uh, and Daryl track down and kill Abraham. That's kind of harsh. Uh, and Maggie and Glenn work together to drown Meryl. Again, I'm probably mispronouncing that. Like, I'm just completely butchering, uh, this guy's name. But, and, and with that, I still apologize. Um, so we have three can shots. Shane, Abraham, and Meryl. Okay. So, like... How many are we at now? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're at eight left, and it's already the second night. What the heck? That is just insane. Like, that that arena event just annihilated these people. Uh, Sophia tends to her wounds. Tara and Maggie talk about the tribute still alive. Michonne kills Sasha with a sickle. Uh, Daryl and Glenn talk about the tribute still alive. And Rosita loses sight of where she is. And then, okay, so, wow, already the feast. So, I guess that, I guess the feast happens when there's, like, a certain amount. Because that, this is kind of early. Uh, well, like, given the last, uh, given the previous Hunger Games that I've done, uh, this is actually pretty early. Like, day two? Are you serious? <laughs> uh, so, the cornucopia is replenished with food supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute's families. Maggie decides not to go to the feast. Rosita and Michonne fight Glenn and Tara. Rosita and Michonne survive. Daryl decides not to go to the feast. Sophia decides not, not also decides not to go to the feast. Okay, so they're actually the smart ones. Okay. Um, so, we have day three. Maggie receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Daryl scares Rosita off. Michonne thinks about home. Sophia accidentally detonates a landmine while trying to arm it. Like, again, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. If you're gonna attempt to do that, you better know what you're doing, pretty much. Like, do, like there are other methods to try to do that, but if it risks, risks your own life, you probably shouldn't do it. So that that that's just my rant on that, I guess. Um, so we have four can shots can be heard in the distance. Sasha from District 10, and well, yada yada yada. Glenn, Tara, and Sophia are dead. Uh, night three, Maggie questions her sanity. Uh, Daryl screams for help. Rosita is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. And Michonne receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Okay, day four, Daryl collects fruit from a tree, Maggie scares Michonne off, and Rosita makes a wooden spear. Uh, no can shots, no one dead. Alright, uh, we have night four, Michonne receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Maggie and Rosita tell stories about themselves to each other, and Daryl stays awake all night. So that is not healthy in the slightest. <laughs> uh, Rosita camouflages herself in the bushes. Michonne diverts Daryl's attention and runs away. And Maggie tries to spearfish with a trident. And again, no deaths. Uh, Maggie is unable to start a fire and sleeps at warmth. Daryl shoots an arrow at Michonne, but misses and kills Rosita instead. Maggie makes a wooden spear. Michonne constructs a shack. Daryl receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Uh, one can shot can be heard in the distance. And that would be Rosita. Michonne quietly hums. Maggie set, sets up camp for the night. Daryl attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. That actually kind of sucks. So, day seven. Daryl, Maggie, and Michonne get into a fight. Daryl triumphantly kills them both. Two can shots can be heard in the distance, with Maggie and Michonne being dead. And Daryl is the winner of this one. So, uh, hold on, what, what happens? Oh, that's just the placements. Okay. Anyways, guys, this... 
that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you have a chance to be featured in the Subscriber Hunger Games, which I am doing once I hit 500 subscribers. And hopefully, at the current rate we're going, that will be really soon. And I want to thank you guys so much for all for all the support. Uh, if, also, if you're new to the channel, be sure to turn on that notification bell so you know when I get videos up. And with that being said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.